The chairperson of the National Assembly of Vietnam, Vietnamese, Chu Tik Quoc Hoi Vietnam, formerly the chairperson of the Standing Committee of the National Assembly of Vietnam, Chu Tik Vu Ban Thuong Vu Quoc Hoi Vietnam, from 1946 to 1981, is the legislative speaker of the Vietnamese Parliament, the National Assembly. The Parliament is, in the words of the Constitution, the highest representative organ of the people, the highest organ of state power the sole organ that has constitutional and legislative rights." The chairman is elected by the deputies members of the National Assembly in the first season of the Assembly's tenure. The Standing Committee, of which the chairman is a member, is a permanent body which controls the activities of the National Assembly when it is not in session. The chairman and the other members of the standing committee have to resign from their posts when the National Assembly dissolves itself, which it normally does every fifth year. The chairman presides over the sessions of the National Assembly and authenticates laws and resolutions passed by the National Assembly by signing them. The chairman leads the activities of the standing committee and organizes its external relations with other state bodies and is responsible for maintaining cordial relations between the members of the standing committee. The deputies of the National Assembly have the right to question the chairman. The powers and prestige of the office of chairman has varied throughout the years. For instance, the two first officeholders Nguyen Van Tu and Bui Bang Doan were not members of the Communist Party, while Trong Chin, the fourth chairman, was ranked second in the Politburo hierarchy. Still, of the ten people who have chaired the National Assembly, five of them have been members of the Politburo. The current chairman is Nguyen T. Kim Nan, and she is ranked third in the Politburo hierarchy. Note 1. History The first chairman of the Standing Committee of the National Assembly was the scholar Nguyen Van Tu, he was not a member of the Communist Party. On 3 March 1946, under the chairmanship of Nguyen Van Tu, the National Assembly formed the first government of the Democratic Republic of Vietnam. Nguyen Van Tu was succeeded in office on 9 November 1946 by Bui Bang Doan, a poet and another non-Communist Party member. While he was never a member of the Communist Party, he was a committed revolutionary. Tun Duc Thang succeeded Bui Bang Doan as chairman in 1955, and was the first chairman to be a member of the Communist Party. Trong Chin became the fourth and longest serving chairman of the National Assembly in Vietnamese history, holding the post from 1960 to 1981, when he became chairman of the State Council, a newly established post. Nguyen Hu Tho, a southerner, succeeded Trong in 1981, as chairman, but he was not a member of the Politburo. Nguyen Hu Tho stepped down as chairman in 1987, and was succeeded by Le Quang Dao, another non-Politburo member. As with Nguyen Hu Tho, Le Quang Dao's tenure lasted one term. Nong Duc Man was elected chairman in 1992, and held office until 2001 Nong was the first chairman who came from a minority background, the Tay, and was the first chairman since Trong who was a Politburo member. Nong stepped down in 2001, and was succeeded by Nguyen Van An, who served as chairman from 2001 until 2006. On 26 June 2006 Nguyen Phu Trong was elected chairman with a majority of 84.58% of the National Assembly deputies in favor. Nguyen Phu Trong stepped down in 2011 because of his election to the post of General Secretary of the Central Committee of the Communist Party of Vietnam, and was succeeded by Nguyen Sinh Hung. Nguyen Sinh Hung stepped down on 31 March 2016, and was replaced by Nguyen T. Kim Nan. She's the first woman to hold the office. List Notes One, carat the Politburo of the Central Committee is the highest decision-making body of the CPV and the central government. The membership composition, and the order of rank of the individual Politburo members is decided in an election within the newly formed Central Committee in the aftermath of a party congress. The Central Committee can overrule the Politburo, but that does not happen often. Two, carat these numbers are not official. 3. Carat the Central Committee when it convenes for its first session after being elected by a National Party Congress elects the Politburo. 
According to David Ko, in interviews with several high standing Vietnamese officials, the Politburo ranking is based upon the number of approval votes by the Central Committee. Le Hong An, the Minister of Public Security, was ranked second in the 10th Politburo because he received the second highest number of approval votes. Another example being to Hoi Rua of the 10th Politburo, he was ranked lowest because he received the lowest approval vote of the 10th Central Committee when he standing for election for a seat in the Politburo. This system was implemented at the first plenum of the 10th Central Committee. The Politburo ranking functioned as an official order of precedence before the 10th Party Congress, and some believe it still does. 4. Carat Tun Duc Thang took over the vacant position of Bui Bang Doan as he was severely ill at that time, however Bui Bang Doan still held the title of Head of National Assembly until he died in 1955, hence Tun Duc Thang was acting Head of National Assembly during that period. <laughs> 